Okay, quick recap on the 3GM diesel raw water cooled 30 horsepower engine for Nika. I'm working on it, and uh, here are my tools sandpaper, picks, scrapers, screwdrivers, wire brushes, paper towels, different grades of sandpaper, of course, uh, a bucket of soap with brushes, sponges, and steel wool, picks, that's a really good one, um, files, different sizes, the small ones are really nice to get into the holes. Um, so far I've, uh, I've also used um, paint remover over there, paint varnish remover, as well as, very important, this stuff works really good. Rust converter. This does what nothing else can do. Rust converter is basically a miracle type of sandpaper that um, will get into the texture of the engine metal surfaces and uh, totally convert that rust into a paintable um, powder. That's a paintable powder right there. You see a powder and it uh, works excellent. This right here had a color that was ghastly until, and I sanded it, I had scrubbed it, washed it, wire brushed it, even sprayed WD-40 and everything. And it still had this kind of um, stale, uh, corroded look to it. But when I put the rust remover on it, it, it came back to life. And it looks like a fresh metal. I think it even reconditions the metal to a certain degree. Um, it really does wonders, even with all these steel brackets. Uh, they looked pretty bad in the beginning. And uh, so just working my way steadily and slowly, just trying to uh, remove as much corrosion and dirt. Um, I also have an air compressor as well as a um, pressure uh, liquid gun that takes any, any type of contents that you put in this can and it'll pressurize it and it'll pump it out. It's almost like a super heavy duty carburetor cleaner, if you will. You can put acetone in there. That's exactly what carburetor cleaner is, pressurized acetone. You can put diesel, gasoline, mineral spirits, soap and water. Um, this is a great tool. The, the com air compressor as well is a great tool. But let's just step back, look at the engine, look at this, where I'm at this in this project. Um, I had given the engine to a machine shop to, to work on, and I thought maybe they could just, with minimal effort, uh, diagnose the engine and uh, get it running, and I'm, I would just uh, not have to get so deep into this project, and it would be ready to go. Unfortunately, they misdiagnosed it. They ripped the engine apart. Later to find out, it was just the high pressure fuel pump, which you're looking at right here. They said there's kind of a, a governing governing flap on uh, number one cylinder that uh, was the problem. So they misdiagnosed it, and because of that, now I have to uh, clean up all these parts individually. I've already ordered. A rebuild kit from parts for engines which I got here an in international shipment and um, I have to say I am happy with that that's that's got all the gaskets in there very hard to find that main head gasket um, that's the only one that I absolutely needed but it also comes with lots of copper washers main and back seal, uh, oil pan, valve covers. Um, I hope it comes with the uh, valve stem seal as well, which I, I believe that's what that is right there. And um, also the exhaust seal, or I'm sorry, the exhaust gas. This was the most expensive part that I had to order, $230. And that's the exhaust mixing elbow. 
and uh, it was made out of heavy heavy duty stainless steel. I ordered that from Parts for Engines. However, it's one of their subsidiaries, HDI Marine, who fabricates and manufactures. So I'm gonna continue to document my progress with the engine for my restoration boat project of Nika. And uh, I'm excited, this is a great engine. I'm a Yanmar fan. And um, I'm gonna rebuild this engine, as you see. And um, then we're gonna install it and we're gonna align it with the propeller shaft. And uh, then we're gonna build a table and put it over the engine, a dinner table in the saloon. And um, I'll document that too. I have a, um, a dripless Volvo shaft seal uh, a replacement from the original that I'll replace as well. So that's going to be interesting. I'll probably pull the, the propeller shaft out as well, take it to a machine shop, have that look through carefully um, as well as the propeller itself and, and uh, have that balanced or, or serviced. And um, we're moving along. I'm trying to be efficient, but also thorough and just take my time. That's uh, the reason why I have the, in the engine here at my house now is that, you know, they would not clean the engine at the machine shop. Uh, where actually it was, a, it was a garage more than a machine shop. And they do uh, big diesel engines for trucks. Um, they weren't giving me any type of response that, that, that gave me uh, security. I, and I asked them a few times. And um, I even asked the guy one time, this is where I started to really lose faith, you know, they, they had taken apart the exhaust um, assembly and um, it was put back on the engine and it had new sealant around it. And I said, did you clean that inside there? Because I know that that had raw water running through it and I knew for sure it needed to be heavily cleaned. And he goes, oh yeah, yeah, I cleaned it, but I opened it up anyways because I wanted to check something. Sure enough, it was completely dirty and unclean and I can tell that he just slapped that back on there and so I could already see what's going on here at this shop um, and then he stripped a bolt right in front of me when I was telling him to take his time turn the engine over so you have better access to the bolt that he was trying to reach right in front of me BAM just uh, stripped a, a nut right in front of me and I just you know that's another thing. Oh yeah, and then what really did, sealed the deal that I'm gonna um, I got myself out of that shop and I'm going to another one after I deep clean everything myself is that I brought them a bucket of soap and sandpaper and all the tools they need to just clean it and it's just simple work. All they gotta do is have one of their guys sit there and um, one by one clean each part, sand it down, clean it, do whatever it takes. It's slow but steady work. It's 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 brainless. You can just sit there and do it. And I went there, I had them, I asked them very nicely. I gave them the materials. I can hear them giggling and smirking. Um, I left, came back two weeks later. Not a single uh, bolt had been cleaned and, and, and nothing had been done. It, just like it, I left it. And then I came back two weeks later and still. And then I asked the guy and, he, and I could just see his, he had a poker face. They just are not interested in doing that kind of thing. They, they want to fix things like quick, instant gratification kind of thing. And that's not my style. I totally believe in taking your time, even if it, if it takes extra time on certain things like this. That keeps your mind organized and it, it, it aligns you to a, a better chance of success. Cleaning and organizing, I think this is, this is huge. It's, it's not only productive and, and preparation, but it's also learning about the engine, learning the, the, the design, the form, and... Um, that's a big part of my mantra. So I'm gonna continue forward with this project, Nika, and I'm gonna try to document as well as I can. Uh, the next step right now, I'm cleaning it up here now. Um, every part, I'm going through it. Uh, and, and then um, I'm gonna organize it perfectly, put everything in bags and label it, whatever. And then I'm going to bring it to a new machine shop that I think specializes better. They have a much cleaner shop and it looks more organized. And so I think psychologically, I'm going to bring this to them and say, look, this is what you got to do. I have the rebuild kit right here. Everything will be organized, you know, right there. I'm aligning myself for success. And I'm, and this, I believe there's a, it's, it's, a, it's a fundamental and psychological um, uh, uh, 
impact to, to, to do that, to give it to them like that. And they, they see it's easier for them, but also it gives them more care. There it goes. Care is a, is a big word too. To have appreciation and care for the, the job at hand, not to let things get messy because just like that, you can slip down, start making stupid mistakes and, and actually making, um, going backwards rather than forwards. Okay, over and out. Cheers.